Hi everyone and welcome to Surprise Sunday. Today I have an amazing tool that I want to release officially. It's a service that I've created on my website and I'm sharing it with the world. It's a free service which allow anybody who wants to go live on Facebook or YouTube to use that tool and create an amazing video as a countdown timer that you can stream minutes or hours before your stream actually starts. A lot of people when they go live, it's just very abrupt. So this is your chance to do it more professionally. We'll see how this tool works right after this break. Welcome back. I hope you're excited about this tool because I am. I've uh, spent nearly two months building this tool and now it's ready for public release. As I mentioned, it's for you if you stream live on Facebook or YouTube and if you use software like OBS Studio or XSplit. This is the perfect solution for you. It will allow you to customize a really nice countdown timer, which is very professional and futuristic that you can stream right before your actual live stream starts. So there's no abrupt transition. Let's see how it works. All you have to do is go to danny.net slash tool slash timer. As you can see, this is an example, but it doesn't have a counter yet. Let's click on settings right here. The first thing you need to do is to select a date for your event. So you can click here. Let's say I want to do it uh, a live event on the 27th of April. You can set the time, of course. Let's say I want it at 8.30. Perfect. So it's starting to count down from that date and time. The next thing is you can customize the title of this. The default is live stream will start in, but you can have whatever statement you want. You can say my live show will start in, or you can say we'll start soon. Okay, that's fine too. Then you need to choose your background video. Now, here's the thing for the free accounts, you have five different videos that you can use. The default is the sky stars, which is really nice. Then you can go with the slide one, which is pretty blurry bokeh type of uh, animation. You can also go with the circle blue, which is very 80s and uh, very disco like. But I, again, it's one of my favorites. You have the circle flow, which is uh, very professional looking and futuristic. And you've got the very futuristic one, which is the uh, circle laser. Now, the next portion that you can customize is your brand color. Obviously, any company has their brand color, so you can go here and choose. Let's say this is the brand color uh, that for your company or your brand, you can do it. Or also if you have a particular um, RGB in mind, you can just do that. Let's say this red, or if you have like a bluish color, you can go with that too. And as you can see, this actually changes the tone of the video that is being played, which takes me to the last portion of the free version and that is to customize the opacity of this transmission video. So you can go with one which is um, nearly hiding the video completely and you can start going with more options to make the video actually appear more contrasting with the background. I like to keep it at almost um, 55 or let's say 60, this seems good to me. And obviously you can choose whatever you want. I'm sticking with the disco lights, my favorite uh, called circle blue. And that's pretty much it for customization. All you have to do is click on the view. Now, before we go ahead and see what happens, 
Keep in mind that these options right here at the bottom are actually for the pro accounts. And pro accounts are currently free. So go ahead and sign up for a free account with Danny.net before this offer goes away. When you get a pro version, you are able to customize things related to your uh, font size. You can customize also the uh, text color that goes here in your title. You can choose a different font family for both your title and also your counter. So this is really nice. And best of all, for the pro accounts, they have the ability to add their own logo and display it on top of this video in any of these corners, the four corners, or you can actually center it. And we'll see that in a special video for pro uh, previews. And finally, you can decide on the size of your logo, whether you want it large or small. So let's go ahead and just go with the default for the free accounts and click on view. Now, this is how it's going to look like. All you need to do is copy this URL and then open up your uh, software of choice. I like to work with OBS Studio. So let's see how you can actually integrate this video into your OBS. All you have to do is add a new scene and I like to call it pre-live. That is generally my very first scene. So let's go and drag it all the way at the top. And then let's add a source. The source that you need to select is the browser source. Go ahead and click OK. And this is where you need to replace the URL with the one that you just copied from your browser. And hit on OK. There you go. Make sure you hold the handle from here and drag it all until it covers your whole screen and you can position it in the center if you like. And there it is. Whenever you're ready, you can actually hit the transition to see it as it will appear live. And whenever you're ready, you can actually keep it running for seven days if you like, or seven hours. Whenever you're ready to pre-stream your video, you should be ready to start using that tool. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you think that this tool is useful. If you do, Please send it around to your friends or whoever you think will benefit from it. It's a free tool and my intention is to make the pre-live videos really amazing. And we'll keep adding new functionality to this tool as more people start using it. So if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you can get notified every time I release a new video. Until the new one, take care.